the rise of AIR generators has been nothing short of meteoric. But Google and Facebook are taking this to the next level with their latest text-to-video AI tools. Within the span of 10 days, both these companies showcase tools that can generate a video from a simple text prompt. It is clear that companies are in a race to create the best AI generator tool in the market. These businesses know that the company that has the best AI generator tool will dominate the content generation industry. So let's have a look at these tools. Meta recently unveiled a new system called Make a Video. This system enables users to put in a general description of a scene and it will then make a short film that corresponds to their words. The videos are 768 by 768 resolution, a little longer than 5 seconds, and do not include any audio yet. Keep in mind that the model is locked down by Meta and therefore inaccessible to the public. Since Meta is the source of these videos, they were most likely selected to make the system seem good. But honestly, this is still very impressive because it is a lot harder to generate a video than it is to generate pictures. The tool not only has to generate multiple images, but it also has to predict how the image will change over time. Meta isn't available for public but they are accepting applications, it looks like they are planning to release a filtered version to the public. So check out their website if you are interested in testing the next version of Make a Video. Google just released their own text-to-video AI called iMagin Video. It can generate 5 second long 1280 by 768 24 frames per second videos from written prompts. The generated videos do not have any sound either, just like Meta's Make a Video. If you compare the two, you can see that Meta's Make a Video has better results. The images are smoother and do not have as many artifacts as Google's iMagin Video. But this isn't the only tool Google showcased to the public. They have also released a tool named Fanaki, which can generate higher resolution, minutes-long videos, and you can also use a sequence of prompts. So you can think of Fanaki as a longer version of iMagin Video. There is a slight decrease in quality when you compare the results of Fanaki with iMagin Video, but that is to be expected. Just like Meta's Make a Video tool, Google's tools aren't available to the public. In fact, Google released a statement saying they will not release it to the public for quite some time because they have to make sure it can't be used for bad purposes. They trained it on a publicly available dataset which had problematic images, so they are afraid that their tool might be used to generate pornographic or damaging material. To some, this might not seem impressive, but keep in mind, this is just the beginning. These tools might not be able to generate videos in 4K resolution, but they will get there eventually. Companies like Google, Facebook, and OpenAI are constantly improving their models, and it's not going to take long for these companies to release these tools to the public. Look at how far we have come in just a couple of years. We went from generating text stories to creating videos from a text. Imagine where this technology will be in the 2025 or 2030. So it will be interesting to see how they continue to evolve in the future.